So guys, uh, next amino acid that we are going to study is histidine, metabolism of histidine. Histidine can be represented by CAC and CAU. Keep in mind this, it is asked in many MCQ. Okay? So as we already studied, histidine is what? This semi essential in semi essential and we have said it is having maximum buffer capacity means they are stable at maximum stability at physiological pH maximum stability at physiological pH. Now, what is the function of histidine? The main function is it will synthesize our allergic mediator. What is that? Histamine by a process called decarboxylation. What is that? Decarboxylation. A removal of carbon dioxide. Okay. That is histidine decarboxylase. Here, Whenever there is decarboxylation, the coenzyme will be vitamin B6, right? So main function is to produce histamine, that is our allergic mediator, that is produced from histidine. Now we will see the metabolism of histidine. The enzyme is histidine decarboxylase. Now we will see metabolism. Metabolism is very important. It is having some clinical importance. Clinical importance in the sense, this first histidine, will be converted to a substitute like uroconate. Okay. Uroconate will become imidazole. No need to remember this cycle. What you are remember is imidazole become substitute known as figlu. It will become figlu. That you have to remember. The next thing that you have to remember here is Figlu will be converted to, I am writing a different color, glutamic acid. Figlu will be converted to glutamic acid. Okay. For this conversion, we need a vitamin, vitamin B9. That is our folic acid, right? So here we need vitamin B9. So what is important for us is, one is our figlu and is our vitamin B9. The metabolism is important in the sense, See, we will do a test known as histidine loading test. We will inject the patient with a shot of histidine. And what is the use of injecting that? If the patient is deficient in vitamin B9, see this stop will this stuff will be stopped, right? Figlu will be not converted into glutamic acid. Figlu will be accumulated. Okay, so you can see figlu in the patient. Patients urine. Mainly in urine. This compound will be increased in what? in urine so that is due to the deficiency of vitamin b9 so this is the clinical importance of history these are the things you have to know about history okay now next we will move to the next amino acid